Today on 3D Outdoors, we're going back to school again. Stay tuned. school and we have another old one room schoolhouse here that we're going to get in there detecting. You can see there's quite a bit of standing grass but we're going to do our best and uh, we'll hopefully find some good coins in here. So here we go. First coin signal and I think it's a coin here anyway at the old school site. Get in here and dig this see if we got ourselves a penny or a dime. Hoping for hundred year old coins today. Well, it's up in the clump, that's not necessarily a good sign. Would have thought it'd been deeper. Coin though. Memorial! We have a memorial. Nineteen sixty-eight, and that makes sense. The place closed in seventy-one, so it could be a sixty-eight. On to the next one. Okay, this is Poppy again. Three and a half inch deeper. So signal. I thought it was probably a screw cap because that's all I've been finding, but it looks like we have a coin right here. And she's got some green on her. So let's take a look and see what we got here. You can see that? That is a weedy. Nineteen nineteen wheat cent. That's a good day. Okay. I just dug that nineteen nineteen weedy right here. Let's see where the plug's at there. I'm getting another hit right here about five inches deep. Right, I mean right beside the other plug. <coughs> so this should be another coin. <coughs> Yeah, it should be a shiny one if you ask me, so let's take a look. Alright, it's in the plug. There it is. It is another weedy. Okay, the last two weeds came from right, right there and right there. Got another signal here. It's four inches deep, not quite as deep, but more than likely this is going to be another coin, I would say. in this clump. Let's go over to 3D and let's open her together. <laughs> this is the exciting part. It's pretty sure it's a coin. All right. It's in here. Put her down on this wood here. It's not that nail. It's not a nail. <laughs> <laughs> it's one in one of the halves. That one. Hmm. We got it in half again, and it's in that one. No, it's getting <laughs> really exciting. <laughs> what is it? It's oh, that's not a coin. That is a a buckle. 
Yeah. That dang shiny buckle. Okay. Yeah, it is. All right, Poppy's got a coin over here. Come check out what he's got. It's good. It is good. It's good. Oh, you got it. See right there. Yeah, they're shined. <laughs> through the clump down, like, oh my gosh. <laughs> yep. Now let's see how old that shiny warm. is. There's no reading on it anymore. I'm getting, I guess, maybe that's, a barber. That's probably a barber. It is a mercury. Mercury. 20 maybe? All right. On the board with a mercury. Look smoothie. at that. Kind of a smoothie. Yeah, but, but I'm not complaining. So. Silver is silver. <laughs> you bet On that. the board. Awesome. <laughs> All right. We had ourselves a signal here that I thought was probably an older coin, but it is not. It's not a coin at all. You can see it laying there though, and I think that'll make my goal of two rings for the year, because that there is a ring. Uh, Poppy said he's found some baby rings before. I'm wondering if that is a, uh, a ba pretty, pretty baby pretty cool. ring. That's pretty small there. Got a little jewel in the middle and everything. What do you think? More than likely a sterling. They didn't make junk back then. So. Yeah. We can go clean her up. All right, let's go check her out. All right, getting her cleaned up, and there is markings on the inside of that ring. Poppy's going to yep. take his. I don't know if you can see them in there. The let's see here. Let's get lined up. Maybe you can see that uh, when I post the video. I can't see it on the, sh the viewer right now because we're out in the light. But Poppy will take. I'll tell you what it says. Oh, I had it upside down. If, you're, if it does show up. <laughs> <laughs> Sterling. Sterling's big and bold. All right. She's definitely sterling. Well, there's more. Okay, know. we'll check it out later. But definitely there, sterling. There we go. All right. <laughs> on to the next one. All right, Poppy's over there working away, and we had a goal to get a certain number of 100-year coins. We found several wheats so far. Poppy's on the board with a silver dime. I got a sterling ring, and we have our first coin that hits the 100 year mark. I just pulled a wheat, and so we have one towards our 100 year goal. We'll uh, keep digging. All right, we'll hold that up to the camera there. I'm pretty sure that says 1900 on it. So on to the next one. All right, continuing with our, our quest on the going back to school. We're uh, hoping to find more 100-year-old coins. I just dug a plug right there and pulled a weed out, which I don't think was 100. But when you look at this one here, we'll get her in the light, you can definitely see that's a over 100-year-old coin. We have ourselves an Indian head penny there. So that would date back to the early 1900s there. You can read the 1900. I'm not sure what the rest of the date is, but we're on the board with an Indian. On to the next one. Back in. This is going to be number three out of the same plug. That tone right there. Let's get her opened up here a little bit, see if we can find her. here together there it is got ourselves another wheat okay I got a real nice signal here five inches deep this cow poop <coughs> I think this is gonna be a coin
design on it. We're finding more buttons than we are coins. All right, we're just wrapping up here for the day, and I thought, you know what? I gotta bring the Equinox out. I gotta run the Equinox, see what I can find, and look right there. I would say that's a silver quarter. <laughs> Let's uh, put some water to that. <laughs> nope, it's a 1942. But it is silver. There we go. All right, we're doing a wrap up on going back to school again. And we kind of got schooled today. As you can see in some of the video earlier, it is really overgrown here. And we really learn to appreciate what it's like to, to go into areas that it's already mowed or early spring when the grass is down here. We worked our tails off out here today. Pulled a few good coins out of here. Poppy got a mercury dime. I pulled out a, a silver quarter. Uh, got a ring out of here and we got a few pennies out of here. Indians and uh, wheats out of here. We'll roll in some photographs of those right here. And that pretty much wraps it up for today. This is Dan and Poppy with 3D Outdoors reminding you to get into the outdoors and enjoy everything it has to offer. If you like this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button at the bottom. See you next time.